Day 2 of the Smart Cities Innovation Summit in Austin, Texas. At the expo, the Holland Pavilion opened. The Dutch delegation is one of the largest present at this summit, with about 50 representatives from the Netherlands and Curaçao. Today was about sharing knowledge with all the other city teams present. All kinds of topics were discussed in different forums, with great participation of the GSC3 cities and partners. The GSC3 city teams all gave a keynote about their projects. Well, we as Volker Vessels are involved within the redevelopment of Strijp S. It's a former Philips area in uh, nearby the city centre of Eindhoven. We work together with a lot of uh, parties. Uh, the public-private partnership with the municipality of Eindhoven is very important for us. What we do is reconstructing this former area towards an area where people can live and can work and can get inspired. I just pre presented uh, two projects uh, that we're working on in the field of uh, ITS, uh, cooperative ITS solutions. One in a um, uh, highway scenario, one in an urban scenario. The first one is uh, uh, um, focused on shockwave traffic jam reduction by making use of vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to infrastructure communication. And the other one is reducing emissions from trucks in an urban environment. In this case, the, the trucks communicate with traffic lights and get speed advice uh, in order to, to make them go through the city more fluently and have less emissions. Well, I just presented the ditch project City Pulse. It's a project in the street Stratums Eind in Eindhoven. That's a small pub street with a lot of visitors and sometimes uh, problems, trouble. And what we want to achieve is the use of data, data from social media, but also from sound and, uh, and behavior uh, patterns. When we have these data, we think we can predict and prevent uh, uh, incidents. And in this way, we make it a more livable, attractive and safe street. I've just presented a project, Smart Inside Amsterdam, which we do together with the city of Amsterdam and Ipsum Energy. Uh, in this project, we provide consumers in the Netherlands with insight in their energy consumption. We do that based on uh, the smart meter data which comes to our backend and we disaggregate that and then we tell the consumers this is your total consumption, this is your idle consumption, this is your dishwasher, your fridge, your freezer and we tell them how to reduce energy and in that way make this world a little bit greener. So together with the city of The Hague we presented how we can use uh, big data to translate that information into, uh, into knowledge and the interesting thing is, is that if you as a city have uh, open data, it's a really easy to apply uh, mechanism to engage with citizens and the private sector rather than have a very top-down energy planning for your city. In Utrecht um, we have found a solution, well actually uh, it's, it's a collaboration of people and companies who found a solution to either charge or uncharge uh, a car battery so you can use it 24-7, uh, which is charged by um, sustainable energy, sun, solar system. And um, so this can lead to closing down all the uh, coal uh, and other uh, disturbing energy solutions. So this is a sustainable solution. Well, I presented something about the Amsterdam Innovation Arena. Our main goal is to become the most innovative stadium uh, within four years, so by 2020. And why do we think we will also succeed in this mission? because we uh, managed to get the right private and public parts together and um, get the right focus on the same themes uh, to become those, this, this most innovative stadium in four years. Tomorrow is the last day of the show and that means the last chance to pay a virtual visit to our eight cities. Or check out our website gsc3.city.